Hello there, it's uh, Brian from excel Um Very quickly, I'm going to show you how to configure this new um, color change thermometer widget that we created. Um, it's color change as in if the, um, if the levels fall within the cutoff values, um, you get both a traffic light effect and a thermometer effect um, going on at the same time. So uh, here it's gone below our cutoff value of 6%, so it's turned red, the bulb mercury's turned red, and the, uh, and the, and the column has changed red. Um, if it's above 6%, um, as it is now, 33% over here, it turns green that tells you everything is fine. Um, we designed this widget in response to a request on the forum from Nuli Karan back in September. He said, I'm using the, the standard thermometer, um, which didn't change colours. Um, and he basically, he's asking us if it goes below 6%, um, which is his error rate, uh, for checking um, applications, um, can you flag this up? Um, can you turn the thermometer um, red? Um, is there any way to achieve this? Um, we've actually had another request um, saying how to how to set this up. So let's go ahead and we'll do that right now. Um, okay, so let's start a new workbook. Got a file, um, new, blank workbook, create. Okay, we're going to go back. Um, okay, in the new workbook, we're going to create three tabs, uh, which is the approach that we that we always use when we're making um, dashboards. So the first one is going to be my dashboard, um, which is where we'll paste these these widgets. The second one is going to be my configuration page, which is where we post the um, configuration data. Um, that will feed these widgets, and the first one, the third one is my calculations page. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard tab. Um, go to the unlocked version um, of the widget over here. Just select the edge to select the the widget. Control C to copy. Let's go across now. I'm going to paste that into B2 in our new in our new workbook. This is workbook, if you look up the top, this is book three, uh, Microsoft Excel. Okay, let's go back and we're going to select this configuration data over here, control C to copy it. So this is in the unlocked version of the thermometer, color change thermometer widget. If you look at the title bar along the top, go back to um, our new workbook, book three, on the configuration page, I'm just going to paste this into here. Um, now we need to go back again and we need to copy the, the calculations that are driving this widget, which is over here, on the calculations tab, control C, copying that into our new workbook on the calculations page. I like to copy things into B2 to keep everything nicely aligned. So there we go. In our new new workbook, we have a widget, configuration data, um, and calculations. So I can actually I can change this right now. I can call this um, Brian's color thermometer. I can say okay, the actual value. At the moment I've got a random value going in. Um, I got to call this okay, twenty five percent. And if it goes be below 20%, it's going to flag up as red. Um, going to go to the calculations uh, page over here. Now, follow step one, link the yellow cells on the configuration page um, to these yellow boxes. So this first one, I'm going to click here. You can see it's still linked to a completely separate uh, workbook. The, the unlocked version of the color change widget. So we're going to change that now. We're going to come across, tap equals, go to my configuration page, and the actual value is 25%. So there it is, 27, 25%. There's a little indicator coming up here saying it's fine because it's actually above our cutoff value. But let's just go and link our cutoff value here. Equals, we've set our cutoff value up as 20. It's fine. 
if we if this happened to go below 20, so let's say 19%, we've come across here, it would say critical, which, which, which would sw switch the colors. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to um, go and link up step two, link the text boxes um, uh, to these uh, these blue cells. So link the widget to the calculated cells over here. So let's go and do that now. Um, so the first one is this top one, which is our title. I'm clicking, having to click this three times. These widgets, if we go on the ribbon, we go home, across to the end, find and select, go down, selection pane. You can see the shapes that are used to make up this widget. So the first one, um, so for example, the title is here. Thermometer main title. The main value is this one here. The up down arrow is this one here, selected here. So this, these widgets are just made up of, if I click the edge, right click, go group, ungroup. They're just made up of different groups of Excel objects. Um, literally text boxes and um, graph objects and shapes and so let's undo that. So I think you get the idea of how these how these widgets are made up. Okay, let's go and link them now. Um, so the title across to my configuration needs to link to this cell uh, F5. Okay, so go here, click, click equals. F5. So it says Brian's color thermometer. There we go. The second value is currently this text box. Text box here for the main value is still linked to the to the unlocked version of the color change widget. We need to highlight that. Press equals. That needs to show our 19%. Um, the up down value again. We need to bring that into the same workbook. Um, this smaller value here again, it equals um, which is this label value over here <coughs> okay now if I press F9 a couple of times you'll notice okay we have 19% but this value on the thermometer is still going up and down and that's because it's still linked to the to the dashboard, um, to the to the widget that we that we copied it from. If I click this chart, this um, for the, the thermometer mercury chart, and then we go on the top, we go to chart tools, design, select data. You'll notice it's still linked to this separate um, workbook. So we need to change that right now. Um, the way I'm going to change that is I'm going to come down to the bottom to the legend entry series fine and critical and I'm just going to edit those two and it'll it'll update automatically so let's let's change the fine um, series <coughs> so click fine edit you'll notice for the series name it's linked across on the unlocked version here if we look in the header bar at the top it's still linked to the unlocked version. Let's change that now by clicking this red little arrow. Let's link this now to our book three, my calculations page, and the and the name fine over here, and drop that in. Um, let's go to the second value, ten percent. You'll see it's still linked. It's going back across into the unlocked version of the color change thermometer widget. Um, it's picking up this 10% value at the top next to fine. So this is for the bar chart. Fine 10%. Let's take that across to our unlocked workbook. We want that to be linked to this cell here. Exactly the same cell, um, but, on, but in our new workbook. If you look at the header along the top, it says book three. So let's drop that in now. Um, and click OK. Let's do exactly the same for the critical value. Let's click Edit. Come across to our new workbook. Select the name. For the actual for the series value, you'll see it's still linked to the other 
um, workbook, the unlocked workbook. Now we're picking up the lower value for the bar chart, the critical value for the bar chart. Let's link that to our new workbook, our calculations page, the critical value, drop that in. OK. So now the, um, <coughs> the thermometer, um, the, the mercury on the thermometer changes color automatically and matches the 19% value that we have in our um, my configuration page. If I put that up to, for example, 99%, it'll turn green and it'll go to 99%. If I bring that back down to below our cutoff, um, it'll it'll change color and it'll the, the, if I put it to to for example ten percent, which is lower than our cutoff of twenty, where it changes color, it'll come back over here. It'll go down to ten percent. It'll change red. Um, the second thing we need to change now is the color of this um, of this pie chart actually down the bottom that changes color. This pie chart here. Um, basically changes between uh, red and green depending on the value. If you look in the um, in the address bar, it's still linked. This series is still linked to the unlocked version of the color change widget where we pasted the widget from. So let's change that now. Go to Chart Tools, Design, Select Data, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. Just come down to the Legend Entry Series One. And we're going to edit that. Click Edit. Um, in this case, we're just changing the series values. If I click the red arrow, it'll take us to the unlocked version um, of the of the widget. You can see that's pulling in data for the pie chart. Those last two values. We need to change that to our new workbook. And again, selecting those last two values on the end. Press down to drop them in. OK. OK. And now um, that's it, basically. OK. So in our, in, our, in our new widget, Brian's Color Thermometer, um, let's change the values now. Uh, let's say we'll make a cutoff of 50. We'll take that up to 75%. You'll see we'll have a green thermometer um, showing 75%. Everything's fine. If that falls below our cutoff value of 50, so I'm sorry, make this 49%, it'll be red, showing 49%. Um, there we go. Um, I hope that's helped you set up this um, this color change thermometer widget. Um, we actually really like this widget, and I think what we're going to do is we will set it up so it'll have three values to be a proper a proper traffic light, um, green. Um, amber and red. Um, obviously, going into red if it um, if the if the metric turns critical, and green if it's if it's on track. Um, so there we go. If you have any comments about this widget, please feel free to um, post them in the forum. If you have any questions about this widget, um, feel free to post it in the forum as well. Um, subscribe to these videos uh, as well within YouTube. Just hit the hit the subscribe button. Um, and as we post, as we create new widgets, um, as we change this widget and um, improve it, um, then you'll get updates as well. So uh, thanks a lot. Um, it's Brian from Excellent Widgets. Until next time.